Hello, my friends. Today we're talking about the morning routine. Hi, I'm Fly Lady Cat, and I'm here today to give you peace in your life, control in your home, and to help you learn to finally love yourself. If that sounds like something that you're wanting to get into your life, then please watch these videos. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, comment, like, all of these things will help me help you and help others get that control in your life that you're missing. Okay, we're following the Fly Lady system and today we're doing the morning routine. So here we go. What is the morning routine? There are a lot of things that happen in the morning that are routines, but this specific thing is a set of things that you do every morning when you first get up. And here's what they are. You get up, you go into the bathroom. When you're in there, you swish the toilet and wipe out the sink. You wash your face, moisturize your skin. If you're gonna wear a little makeup, put it on, fix your hair. And then you go out of the bathroom, go put your clothes on, put your pajamas away, make your bed, go down into the kitchen. Now, if you have more than one bathroom, you're going to swish and swipe every sink and toilet. Don't balk, it's gonna make a difference in your life and it's gonna help you with your self-discipline. So swish and swipe the toilets in each bathroom if you have more than one. Uh, my last house, I had three and I did it every day, it takes that long. And then when you get in the kitchen, put your dishes away from your dishwasher that you ran last night and make yourself something to drink, coffee, tea, water, whatever. You might even start breakfast. That is the morning routine. So let's go over some of the things in the morning routine and then we'll talk about other things you can do in the morning, but this is the morning routine. So first of all, get up and go to the bathroom. Well, you know you've got to do that anyway. So while you're in there, don't let your feet travel outside of that room again, stay there. In that room, you want to keep a bottle of spray. I use Mrs. Myers. it's in a spray bottle. I love it, it's very mild and it cleans just right. So you would squirt your toilet and squirt your sink. You like my sounds? Put that away, get your cloth out, wipe your sink out. You can hit your faucets if you want, but we're not worried about the countertops. I know they might not look great right now, but we're just concerned about the sink and the faucets. Then go into the, over to the toilet. Maybe you want to wipe a little of the tank, maybe the handle especially, the lid under the lid, the seat under the seat around the rim. Then take your, and then just drop that on the floor. Get your toilet brush and go around the bowl and under the rim. This doesn't take long. It's just a, it's just like a minute to do this. Then put your, put your brush away, flush the toilet. And now that you've done that, let's wash our hands, let's wash our face, moisturize our skin. If you're gonna wear makeup, put some on now, fix your hair, okay? Now we've done everything we need to do in the bathroom. Unless you have your clothes hanging in the bathroom, you're going to go into your bedroom. And once you get in your bedroom, you're going to put your pajamas away and put your clothes on. Now you're dressed, you look nice. If you're wearing makeup, it's on, your skin has been taken care of, your hair looks nice, you're dressed. Now you're gonna make your bed. Unless there's someone sleeping in it, you're going to make your bed. If there's someone sleeping in it, you're gonna come back to that bed later and make it. You're not going to have a day with your bed unmade, okay? Then you're gonna to go to the other bathrooms, if you have them, and do the exact same thing. Take the Mrs. Myers or whatever you choose to use, your call. Wipe, wipe, swish, flush, take the rag, go out of that bathroom, go to the next one. So you've got a, a cloth or a rag of some sort in every bathroom. I recommend a bottle of Mrs. Myers in every bathroom or whatever you choose to use and seven cloths. You can go to the Dollar Tree and buy a stack of cloths. Have seven little cloths in there that you're going to use every day specifically for wiping the sink and then the toilet. So when you're done doing that, you're gonna take those cloths to the laundry room. That's where they belong. Now you're gonna go into the kitchen. You're gonna empty the dishwasher. If you don't have a dishwasher, you're gonna empty your dish rack and put your dishes away. The reason we do that is so that we start the day with an empty dishwasher or an empty dish rack so that when you dirty up a dish or anyone else does, you tell them, put that in the dishwasher. If you don't have a dishwasher, put that in the sink or wash the dish, whatever you choose, okay? All right, next, uh, we're gonna make ourselves something to drink. Coffee, tea, water, doesn't matter. Get something to drink. That's the end of the morning routine. The only alternate um, version of this is if you may choose to take your shower in the morning, 
then you would also take your shower in the morning you may wash your hair in the morning you may need to fix your hair in the morning however long that normally takes you you would add it to the morning routine but the basic morning routine I, I just gave you should not take you more than 30 minutes no more than 30 minutes you'll be shocked when you start emptying the dishwasher yourself that it just takes like seven or eight minutes it doesn't take long and you'll get better and better at it um, if you are having a child do the dishwasher take that job back give that child another thing to do the idea is you want this dishwasher empty immediately first thing in the morning okay so once you do that you're going to really appreciate that you won't have dishes stacking up while you're waiting on junior to come empty the dishwasher and sometimes he doesn't empty the dishwasher because he's late for school or whatever and now you have even more dishes because he's going to empty that dang dishwasher and now his dishes are stacked up to here before he empties the dishwasher when he comes home from school take that away you need to be in control here empty the dishwasher all right that's the morning routine when i say morning routine that is the morning routine 30 minutes or let's say you just take a shower in the morning it's an extra 15 it'd be 45 minutes let's say you wash your hair and have to blow it dry and style it it might take you an extra 45 minutes instead so it'll be an hour and 15 minutes whatever it takes you have to get up in the morning to start your morning routine so that you're finished and, and at the point where you're making yourself something to drink when it's time to get the children up if you have them okay so that means you have to get up earlier because if you get up when the kids get up there's no control and you don't get a chance to take care of yourself and then martyrdom stick starts to happen it's like oh woe is me I never can do anything for myself these kids are so demanding I know you love your children but I also know the things that go through your head having been a mother of four and they didn't all live with me I had two stepchildren but still I have four kids at some time I know what that's like so you want to be that calm cool centered mother who's in control and the only way to do that is to get up early get this stuff done so that you're in control when the children get up you can give them attention if they need attention if they need direction if they need guidance if you need to inspect what you expect of them okay now there are other things that you might also want to do in the morning I recommend that if you're doing laundry do a load in the morning every morning get it started that's one, another routine though and there's a laundry routine video on this channel that's just in the last couple of days um, also you would be doing paper routine I have older paper routine videos I'll probably be making one soon but if you have paper clutter you want to go through an inch every morning when you're drinking your drink okay then um, you may have other things that's kind of it for mine but you may have other things maybe you have to feed the animals or maybe that's what something your children do and you have to make sure that happens uh, maybe you need to let the dog out every morning maybe you op open the curtains or the blinds every morning um, maybe you I don't know what else there's things people do in the morning maybe you want to do some yoga in the morning and it takes 25 minutes what does that mean that means you have to add 25 minutes to that morning routine before the kids get up so you have to get up 25 minutes earlier or do it later on or at another time okay all right so that goes for Bible study that goes for you know prayers whatever you're doing in the morning you have to make sure you have enough time to do it before the kids get up all right now if you're homeschooling you're going to jump right into homeschooling very shortly if you haven't if you're having to take children to school you may have to leave um, before you're even through like if you started your laundry maybe or you didn't even start your laundry you know you just had to leave right after the morning routine and they've done their morning routine and go to school come back and pick up where you left off if you work you leave the house after your morning routine and you don't come back until the evening so one other thing you're going to do before you leave is a clutter stop and I have videos on that as well um, it's a quickie where you make sure there's no clutter laying around okay but back to this morning routine this is the core of your morning the morning routine so look at it see if you're doing it see why you're not doing it push yourself to hold yourself accountable and discipline yourself to get that morning routine done every single morning that's it for today I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope that you remember that you're beautiful so be beautiful